Hello and welcome to episode 2 of my Force of Nature tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be continuing on with the quests, starting with making a bonfire. So, like I was explaining, I'm going to start in this area here, where we, where we woke up on the beach. And so I'm going to build my campfire just about, just about here, I'm guessing. Let's first continue picking up these items. Uh, strawberries are a very, very good uh, source. Uh, let's show you of food. So if we go into the inventory, you'll see that these first two foods gave us stamina, didn't they? This one's over 20 seconds, and this one's over 10 seconds. Um, strawberries, however, give us health, not stamina. So that we're going to drop in the number six. So I'm going to put food and uh, health and stamina foods down here, and tools and weapon up there. Uh, keep some logical order to the game. Okay. Right, so let's do this bonfire. If we bring up the build window and constructions, click bonfire, you'll see that uh, to make the bonfire we needed five sticks. I've got eight now, so plenty for that. And one glowing ember or the ruby chip, which I picked up. So we'll select that. Now, this is a very special thing with uh, Force of Nature. When you're building your constructions, it gives you a, a map, on a, lay, a grid on the ground, a massive grid to build on. It's just so cool. Now, you can turn using the mouse wheel, so the item that you're placing down, by using your middle mouse button, the, the wheel, you can scroll it around and you can rot rotate your character with the space key. So, how cool is that? Okay, let's put the bonfire just there. There we go. Right, now, if you walk close to an item in your uh, construction and press the space bar, it's telling you how long it's take to make it. And there we go, look at that. How cool is that? We got ourselves our first bonfire. So let's go into the quest book and see what it's asking us next. Get a new level. Well, it did say, didn't it, on the Steam page that this is an RPG as well. Well, welcome to the RPG side of it, where we will level up and gain strength and power. So let's click on this. New level will give access to new buildings, new recipes, and will make your character stronger. How cool is that? So there we go, we now want to get to level 2. So, in the uh, character window, in the inventory window, these buttons, you've got your map, craft, build, this is the one we now want, characteristics. Um, I'll look at Encyclopedia in a little bit. But for now, let's click on this. Okay, so what we have to do, there's our current level and uh, our regeneration and bits and uh, our, our armor details. We have none at the moment. That's why I'm butt naked there. You can see in front of the fire. So I'm taking 100% damage, but I ain't planning on fighting just yet. If we click on new level, this is what we need to do in order to get to get this level. So I need to have make another rope because I've used them all up. So let's press the C key to bring up crafting. Click rope and select that. We're going to use a splinter. So OK. And we want just one rope. So along that goes. That's nice and quick. But items do get much longer to make. So we'll take that. Now, if we go back to characteristics, next level, you see now that we qualify. So we can now click the button, get level. There you are, I'm now level two. Okay, let's quest check the quest journal. Okay, so we got three more quests, but before we go to them, let's now have a look at the encyclopedia, because did you notice that it went red. 
that tells us whenever these go red it tells us there's new information so if we click on there okay if we click back you can click on these to see what items you're going to get each time you level up so if we click on level one you see that we was able to then make the rope and the stone knife at level two which is what we've just got i can now make a digging stick fried meat glowing ember stone axe and stone pick two very cool well three very cool tools which are going to enable us to start doing some serious gathering okay let's close that let's look at these quests so the first one is let's look at create a glowing ember some things cannot be crafted with your hands you will need additional constructions so we need to craft nine glowing embers and it's telling us here you can create the glowing ember with the help of the bonfire to do this click on the bonfire and choose recipes okay so we click the bonfire click on recipes and here's the glowing ember now the thing is okay we need to make nine glowing embers so we've got three sticks that is just enough to make the amount we need but then we will not have any sticks left so I'm not sure how many sticks there are on the ground so I'm gonna just put that on hold the glowing ember let's go back to the quest because the tools are more important as in the stone axe that should be the first tool you make so if we go back to crafting and the recipes the stone axe is really what we must do so I'm gonna need another rope let's do the rope okay I'm gonna need another palm frond okay so let's find ourselves another palm frond or in fact let's show you a way to get a palm frond if there's none on the ground and that is walk up to one of these bushes either this bush or this bush or this tree and when you kick them you'll get a range of different items kicking the tree you've got a chance of getting coconuts and palm fronds kicking the bushes let's have a look and show you there we go there's a palm frond and there's another one remember just press the left control key and it auto picks up just to kick a tree a bit shall we see if we can get a coconut on our head now with your stamina and your health they do slowly regenerate back but they are very slow to regenerate especially when you start to get your health and stamina high and you uh, cut lots of trees and mine lots of stones and it goes right down and so you're going to need to you're going to get used to eating in order to get your health and stamina back up anyway let's go to crafting let's make a rope Okay, let's take the rope. Now let's bring crafting back up and make the stone axe. There you go, we can now do it. So let's select, select the stone knife as the tool, okay, and okay. Okay, you notice it's taking a little longer to make the stone axe. As we progress and items get more complex, they will take longer to make, which is a natural evolution of the game with all games that's how it should it, it, it is in general the more complex and detailed the items get the longer they will take to make so I'm gonna put my axe as number four okay let's close that so now if I press the number four key you see it's equipped automatically in my um, right hand Okay, now to de-equip it, because if, say I want to go punching bushes to get more palm fronds, what I'd have to do, press the I key to bring the inventory up and drop it back into the slot. 
If I'm switching between tools, I don't need to bring the inventory up. I just simply press the number of the key that I need. Anyway, if we look at the quest journal, more tools. So we now need to make a stone pick. Okay, that's the next tool I recommend. So let's go back to crafting. To make a stone pick, we need another rope. So we're going to need another palm frond. Okay, so what we can now do that we have an axe is I can equip the axe, go to this bush, and chop it up. Now what I want you to notice is something that I've noticed is there's two ways you can chop up uh, trees and bushes or interact with any items. There's a fast method by keeping the left mouse pressed down and a slower method by waiting for the action to finish. So I'm going to show you the, the difference between quick harvesting and slow harvesting. So if I go to this bush and keep the button pressed, see he keeps doing the action. Notice there's two palm fronds there. Uh, so a total of seven. If we go to this bush and I carry on doing it slowly, Notice, three have dropped. Whenever you fast chop down a bush, it drops two. Whenever you chop them down slowly, it drops three. I just thought I'd share that with you. Okay, so let's see. We've got one at the moment. If I pick them all up, that gives us eight. So we got seven from that slow method. If we now go over here, Okay, so we've got eight. So yeah, no, we've got exactly the same amount. So whether you swing slow or swing quick, it does give you the exact same amount. Even though it drops an extra pile doing it slowly, you still get the same amount. I was curious about that, so there we are. That's now resolved. So as you can see, you can disrupt the terrain. Why would you want to do that? Well, let's say I went over here well the terrain's stopping me from progressing into the world or if I went over here you can see I can't go any further so you have to destroy the terrain and also in order to progress out into the wilderness now I'm not going to do that yet because this is a little safe area enclosed by the trees and the bushes right let's make this uh, stone tool um, what was it? A stone pick. That's what I was making. I need to do the rope first. So let's select that. Let's make a few ropes because we have to keep making them, don't we? Okay, let's grab the ropes. Let's go back to the crafting window and do the stone pick. So there we go. Got all the items we need. Let's select that and OK. The stone pick obviously is for mining. The axe is for chopping up bushes and trees. Oh, I'm getting wet. OK, I'll drop the pick in number two. So I've got hotkey to two and four. Now if I come out the inventory, so I can press number 2 to equip my pick, or number 4 to equip my axe. Nice and quick, switching between. I do love that, very cool. Right, okay, let's mine this rock to show you how to do mining. So you can stand a bit away, left click. Don't always get something, just like chopping wood. But there you go we got ourselves stone rock. If we keep mining, you will notice with these boulders here that they have that uh, iron colour in them. That means that the, this is iron ore. Stone again. We'll keep mining and I will show you what I'm talking about. There we go. We got our first bit of iron ore. So, 
There are different ores in the world. The ones that I'm immediately aware of are iron, tin and copper. Okay. Oh wow, well, there's the timer. It does go ever so quickly. Right, okay, so that's it for this episode. Good job, because it's got to night time. We'll continue on from where I leave off in the next episode. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.